Welcome back to another episode of Doob's Booze Reviews. Today we're looking at Gentleman's Jack. The main difference between Gentleman's Jack and Jack Daniels is Jack Daniels takes wood and they use their alcohol on it and burn it into charcoal and then they filter their whiskey through that. It mellows out the flavors, brings in some interesting flavors. Now, the difference between Jack Daniels and Gentleman's Jack is that Gentleman's Jack filters it twice. So, a little bit different flavors, let's check it out. On the nose, you still get like that peanut butter, little fruity, you get some apple notes in there. You get that signature banana. Hmm, a little caramel on the nose too. The fruity side of caramel. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. On the palate, in general, it's more earthy. You get more kind of grass notes and stuff, kind of like a like some rye whiskeys if you've ever tried Whistle Pig. On the finish, you definitely get that peanut butter, the butter brittle. You don't quite get as much of a corn note as you do in Jack Daniels. You definitely still get the caramel and the peanut butter and that signature banana. Cocktails, I think, that would work well with this. You could really use it with anything that you would use a bourbon or a rye whiskey in. It will add different flavors to it because of that signature Jack Daniels flavor. However, I think it would work well in a Tennessee Sour. I think the fruit notes with the earthiness, they really balance each other out. You might get some really cool complexity from it. A price point I would put on this, since it's a step up in the smoothness and you get some different flavors in there, I would say mm, mid 20s, like 25, maybe $26. I'd say that's a good deal for this bottle. Hit that like button and leave a comment down below on whether you like Jack Daniels or Gentleman's Jack better. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.